Welcome back! This video is about the Smartwatch Utility which recently hit the marketplace. The Smartwatch Utility allows you to equip your VR Pons motion controller with a small interactive screen that is able to display functional widgets, trigger interactions and even spawn actors. The Smartwatch Utility is an expansion of the Advanced Framework Core that you have to purchase separately. It is not a standalone project and requires the Advanced Framework Core 4.1 or higher versions to function properly. Now we are here in the Smartwatch Utility folder in the engine. This might not look much, but it contains all you need. Under Blueprints you have the Smartwatch itself and a spawnable bigger smart screen for more elaborate widgets. Under Meshes you can find the meshes we used and under Widgets the initial widget for the Smartwatch. Under Examples you find a map, pawn and other content in case you want to check out the Smartwatch right away. But maybe we should have a look at how the smartwatch works first. The smartwatch itself is a motion component. It contains a mesh that defines what the smartwatch looks like, a widget component that defines the widget shown by the smartwatch and transmits widget functionalities, an anchor component to attach spawnable, the spawnable smart screen, and a spawn location that determines where the smart screen is placed upon spawn. A look in the advanced graph shows us mainly functions necessary to have the smartwatch face the player, spawn in the right direction upon loading the level, and for spawning the smart screen. Everything else is handled by the widget system. Now for the basic setup. First you need a personalized version of the smartwatch motion component, so you can add the widget you want and other modifications if you want them. For that, let's create a child of the smartwatch motion component. and open it up. Now we can define the starting widget on the widget component here and here. Incidentally, since much of the smartwatch functions are encapsulated in widgets, it might be a good idea to carefully design a system of interconnecting widgets for it, a topic I will cover in an upcoming video. Also, don't forget to enter all widget functionalities you want to be replicated in a multiplayer scenario to the motion component itself using the event dispatcher of the widget component. Let me quickly copy some code from the example smartwatch component so I can show you how to do it. As you can see, the event dispatcher of the widget component provides us with a plethora of information. Most importantly, the command variable here. Using this switch and name not here, we can use the command variable to distinguish between different fu widget functions. For example, these four commands which moved an actor of the class specified here or this command here down here, which spawns an actor defined by the widget. Let me quickly replace all the references so we can go on. Next, let's go to the motion controller you are using. The hand motion controllers like this one are the best for the, uh, for the smartwatch, but others like hand tracking motion controllers can also work. First, add the smartwatch motion component and position it according to your liking. The smartwatch motion component determines upon start of the level if it belongs to the right or left motion controller, so you can freely add it to any of the two or even both. For now, let's stick with the right motion controller we opened here. By the way, you always add motion components as child actors to the motion controllers, just as I did now. Lastly, remember to enter your motion controller to the controls component of the pawn you are using in the level, if you have not done so yet. That's it! Now we can check out our smartwatch. As you can see, the smartwatch is spawned as part of the motion controller and shows the widget we specified. It gives us a choice of three buttons. Each connects us to another widget, this move actor widget for example. Or this widget spawning a smart screen. Or this widget spawning the replication of a VR controller, which is just an example for an actor. Now you should have a handle on setting up the smartwatch and there's already lots to play around with. However, I'm certain you want to create your own widget system soon. A video on that is already in planning. See you there. Bye bye.